In today's video, folks, I went to Taco Bell and got myself a grilled cheesy burrito box with all of this food. A taco, burrito, fries, looks like cinnamon balls, and let's not forget the pot. But is it good? Hello, everyone. I'm doing another viewer request today. Unfortunately, it's not going to be the place that uh, Brandon had commented that he wanted me to get a burrito from a certain location. I'm going to pop up the reason why right here so that you can see why I'm not going to be going to this place. Uh, a burrito that was supposed to be $10.99, a small burrito. I went through the process of ordering it. And when I went to check out, then there's a dollar seventy-five service fee. There's a twenty-five cent uh, environmental fee, and then there's a tip um, that's automatically applied to the bill. And I tip on my orders, but I don't think it's right that restaurants should assume that you're going to tip, and especially over a standard fifteen percent. It was seventeen percent. So I decided I'm going to go to Taco Bell because they have a grilled cheesy burrito. So it's still a burrito, just not from the place that uh, Brandon had suggested. But look at this thing. Doesn't that look good? I know you've already seen it at the beginning, but let's see how that tastes. Let's go for a ride. So just to show you some of the drive there, folks, the, there's three Taco Bells that are close by where I am, and not really close by. There's one in Dartmouth and McMack Mall, and I tried to go there, but going through the mall, then getting up there and waiting 30 minutes to place an order in a crowded restaurant, it, it was a big production. There's another one in Halifax. Uh, it's about 20, 20 minutes away. The one in Micmac Mall is 20 minutes away. So there's another one in Stewiak, which is a 30 minute drive and they have a drive through. So this will actually be closer for me or faster to drive out to Stewiak, all on the highway. Uh, and if you're ever driving in Nova Scotia and you're coming to Halifax, you're driving south to go to Halifax on the 102 highway, always stop in Stewiak. It's known as, you'll see a big elephant there. It's called Mastodon Ridge. And they've got Taco Bell, Tim Hortons, KFC, um, I know Coldstream Distillery is located there, so it's a good stopping point as you're you're probably about 30, 30 minutes or so from the city, about 40 minutes to downtown. Next stop, we'll be placing the order. That's a better price. Just to show you folks, we're about 40 minutes outside the city and we're off the main highway. This place is always busy. It's a big stop area on your way into the city because we're about 40 minutes away. Good chance to get a snack, bite to eat. Lots of places, Mastodon Ridge, exit 11 on the 102. What's in the, the grilled cheesy burrito big box? It's a burrito. Yeah, I'm going to get that. The grilled cheesy burrito big box. What, hey, what's your drink? What kind of diet pop do you have? Just diet Pepsi. Okay, I'll get a diet Pepsi with that, please. Anything else? That should be it. Great, okay, you can drive on up. How much is that? Thirteen twenty one. Thank you. I almost forgot forgot to record there oopsie i was just going to get a burrito but I, the the big they have a big box that comes with a taco an order of fries some other food item and a diet pot 13 dollars and 21 cents that's a good deal but how's the taste we're going to find out okay folks i've got to hold this camera way back all of this food was 13 dollars and 21 cents so let's go and start unboxing this. And I like the packaging it comes in, but what a deal. So it's eleven forty nine with tax thirteen twenty one. Um it looks like it comes with a taco here. So let's unwrap that. Look at that taco. Uh hard shell. So let's take that aside. 
these look like a dessert. I, I didn't, wasn't sure what they were. So I smelled them and they're cinnamon. It looks like cinnamon balls. Good. Then we have some fries. And then we have this bad boy burrito. Let me pause this, unwrap. That is a hefty burrito. And the cheese, look, there's even cheese grilled on the fajita that it's wrapped, or the tortilla, I should say, that it's wrapped in. But that is a monster of a burrito. It took a little bit longer for this close-up, but there's a lot of food here, folks. <laughs> $13.21, certainly a lot better than the $17 for the small burrito I would have gotten at the other place. We're going in. Okay, folks, this is a heck of a lot of food. I think we'll get the small one over with. So again, I know you saw it up front, but look at the amount of food for $13.21. What a deal. I'm glad I changed my mind. Thanks for the suggestion, Brandon, on the burrito, because I haven't had a burrito in a long time. So I'm looking forward to this. And not only do I get a burrito, I also get a taco and some fries. So let's KFC fries. KFC and Taco Bell are owned by the same company. And in Canada, usually where there's a Taco Bell, there's a KFC. They're usually paired at the same store. I like the KFC fries. They're good. Mm -mm. Nice amount of salt on them. Let's save, but well, we're going to save the dessert for last. But let's try this taco. Look at that. You can see the meat down on the bottom there. It's kind of eaten away at the taco. But that's my bite. That is delicious. Mm. A lot of the lettuce fell out. This is a delicious taco. Mmm. Now, the star of the show, folks. Look at this. When they say grilled cheesy, they meant it. Oh, man. That looks good. Let's let's go in. This is delicious. Mm. There's a good amount of ground beef in it. And this is supposed to come with five different cheeses. I can tell you it doesn't disappoint. I can, there's cheese all over the place on this, uh, on the shell, inside. Um, this is delicious. Mm. Oh. There's something in there that's giving a little bit of heat. Now, I do have some sauce that I could put on it. I don't really need to. This has got a little bit of heat. It's not blaring hot. But it's packing some heat, folks. Mmm. I think there's red peppers in there. That is a delicious burrito. Now... We have dessert. I don't know what these are. Comment below. I'll look up on the menu, but I haven't just Taco Bell is so far out of the way for me. I haven't been to it all that often. Uh, that burrito is warm. I like this has more heat in it than the Southwest sandwich that I had. That is a spicy burrito. 
So let's try to take the heat down with a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. These are delicious. It's kind of like a churro, but I've, with cream inside, and it's a ball. But if the pastry is very similar, I'm going to eat the other one, too. This is delicious. No, I better save that for dessert. Folks, this is a great deal. Eleven forty nine plus tax for a taco, whatever these bites are. Um, again, comment below if you know what these are. They're delicious. I would get those again. The taco's delicious. The uh, french fries. Hey, honestly, I really don't eat a lot of fries. Um, I'll probably save these for the drive home. But that burrito, amazing. The, the nice cheese coating on the outside and the cheesy goodness on the inside. It is a delicious burrito. Love it. I'm going to give this a Brady score. Ten thumbs up. Not only the price factor to the food ratio that you're getting here. This is a great deal. I'm not sure how long this uh, deal is on for. I think it's been out for a while. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to eat all of this. I'm going to finish the burrito, start my drive home. Then I'll probably have the taco, munch on the fries on the way home, and have the taco and this little churro bite. That's what I'm going to call it when I get home. Thanks for watching, uh, everyone. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, please have a look at the playlist. It should be popping up and uh, have a look around. If there's stuff there that you like, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along for the ride. I'm still looking at booking my uh, trip to Florida. And I plan one of the one of the first reviews I'm going to do on that trip is I'm going to stop at the border uh, and I'm going to stop at McDonald's at the border city in Canada. Then I'm going to go to the McDonald's at the border city, city in the U.S. and compare a McDonald's quarter pounder in Canada versus a McDonald's quarter pounder in the United States. And I'm going to show you what the differences are. And I've never had them together. I've had them separate. And I'll tell you, from my perspective, every time I've eaten at McDonald's in the U.S., it tastes way better, way juicier than the McDonald's here in Canada. Um, but we're going to put that to the test when I go across the border. So thanks again, everyone, for watching this video. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. Jamie, signing off. Oh, my goodness, this is good.